This lens is crushing the competition because of the price, of the classical field of view, of the classical design and also because of the performance, sharpness and AF. So I want to share with you my results about this budget lens that it's a great choice for a full frame shooter. So let's talk about this now. Hi there, Tudor Matescu here. If you aren't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe now, now to my channel because I'll post more content about photography gear and photography tips and tricks because in my reviews I will show you how to use a lens and to get the best out of the lens. So this lens, it has a 75mm field of view and lots of YouTubers will tell you that this is an unusual field of view. From my point of view, it's a classical field field of view. Leica M system has the 75 mm frames and also the 90 mm frames. It doesn't have the 85 mm frame lines. So this is where this lens is coming from. This lens is also useful for portraiture but also for documentary photography, street photography and all kinds of details because this field of view, the 75 mm field of view, it will help you make lots of pictures and not just one style of photography. So this lens is made by TT Artisan and it's a full frame lens with aperture clicks, nice aperture clicks and it's a 75 mm f2 lens and I will compare this lens to Sony 85mm f1.8 and also to Sigma 90mm f2.8 and I will touch why I do like this lens very very much. So first of all why this lens it is so great and I do recommend get a 75mm lens in your kit. So in general I've discovered that I really do not like too much to use the 85mm lens and I really don't understand why the 85mm lens it is the standard in event and wedding photography because I feel with 85 you can do portraits, you can do details but this is more suitable for portraiture if you are asking me or a 90mm lens or a 100 plus 105mm lens it is more suited than an 85. So the 85mm lens it's a compromise lens for my point of view, for my liking, for my photography. So this is where this lens is coming from. This lens it is a 75 5 meter lens. It is small, portable, compact, light, metal build with aperture clicks. So amazing, really, really amazing. And how I've said, this field of view, it is great for documentary photography, street photography, saw lighter style photography, and also portraiture photography. So with this lens, it is very easily to make different portraits, depending on the space where you are. This lens is not constraining you like an 85 meter lens or like an 90 millimeter lens where you need more space. So this lens it is great for head shots, for full body shots, for all kinds of portraiture shots. So this lens it's really really great for this but also for street photography. So where a 50 millimeter lens can work in street photography also for sure a 75 meter lens will work but more than that where an 85 meter lens can work for street photography or a 90 also a 75 millimeter lens will do just great so a very very usable field of view that i will not disregard it at all so 75 meters field of view it is a classical field of view it's an ideal field of view for all kinds of photography styles now let's talk about the size and ergonomics of this lens i have this lens paired with sony a C. On Sony A7C it's a great pair. It's staying great in the hand. The balancing it is really really perfect. You really don't feel the camera on you. It is as light from my point of view as a Fujifilm camera with a 56mm lens or as other equivalent cameras on other systems. So the package it is light, it is portable, it is very easy to be taken with you with another lens. So I really like to take this Sony 7C with the 75mm TT Artisan lens and with another lens, a wide lens, a 24mm lens or a 35mm lens. So easy on your bag, very portable, fully metal build except the lens hood and this is okay because this helps keep the package portable. Also I understand that the plastic lens hood it's also better if you drop your camera because the shock it will not be transferred from the metal lens hood to the metal lens barrel. So everything is very well built and I really do love a lot this 
lens hood that it's something between a rose petal lens hood and a square hood so really loving the design a classical beautiful beautiful design tt artisan did a great job regarding the design a classical design lens with nice aperture clicks so let's talk about this aperture ring listen here Very nice aperture clicks, really great aperture clicks, much better than other clicks that I've used in my life. So very nice aperture ring from F2 to F16 and also you have an A spot if you want to control the aperture using the command dials. The build is great, the lens is fully metal and also you can update this lens using the cap that has an USB-C port so you can update it via firmware. But how this new lens with this new firmware it's working on my sony 7c well for my surprise amazing good amazing good the af it worked very very well in portraiture photography in street photography in low light street photography very very well of course not like a sony dedicated lens but not bad at all not bad at all it was very fast and i would say even faster than my sigma lens even faster a tit bit faster than my sigma lens and i'm very satisfied with the af of my sigma lens so very good very good af you will not have problems in acquiring iaf or any AF that you will need to acquire using your Sony camera and this is not the latest Sony camera so the AF of this lens crazy crazy good so I didn't have any missed focuses and IAF focuses with this lens now I want to touch the image quality flare chromatic aberrations and things that maybe disturb me I was able to observe just a little flare in just one situation and also I've used this lens without the lens hood in street photography and I didn't have any flare problems so regarding flare resistance this lens it's really really good you can use it with the lens hood or without the lens hood in street photography without the lens hood no problems no flare so just in one angle where I made the down angle shot I was able to have some little flare so anyway no problem now the next thing that i want to address is the bokeh the bokeh it is very very interesting very nice from time to time it's a nervous bokeh like a zeiss bokeh so the bokeh of this lens it's really helping me remember my zeiss lenses so a nervous bokeh from time to time where you have foliage but also smooth if you are paying attention to your background so you can get nice results with this lens regarding bokeh also in some situations you can have some nice highlighted bokeh so i'm really loving the effects that i'm getting with this lens so because of the bokeh and also of the out of focusing rendering i really like this lens and i will call it a lens with personality in a good way again in a good way so very nice for getting all kinds of classical shots classical pictures because now let's get to the important part the sharpness of this lens how sharp is this lens at f2 very sharp very sharp at f2 perfectly sharp not clinical sharp not that sony sharpness that personally i don't like again i don't like that clinical sharpness from sony lenses this is why i'm using a sigma lens and other third party lenses on my sony camera because i'm not a fan of that clinical sharpness and this is bringing me the classical sharpness and in a good way again not in a bad way it's very sharp very sharp but not digital sharp this is important so it's rendering like a sigma this is where i want to get and why i've said that it's destroying the competition because of the price from my point of view it's rendering like a sigma lens so this where this tt artisan it's coming into play it doesn't have the price of a sigma lens it's focusing faster than a sigma lens and it renders in a way the same but with the personality of a tt artisan lens boom and i feel that the personality it is more classical again i'm not disregarding sigma i'm liking both lenses but this has again a little more classic touch to it when i'm looking at the portraits and how the portraits are rendering so very nice rendering also on sigma i think we do not have a 75 millimeter lens we have a 65 millimeter lens well that field of view i really do not understand it 
but this is a classical field of view. So great sharpness. And now let's touch a little on the minimum focus distance, because when you will read that the minimum focus distance, it is 0.75 meters or 75 centimeters, you will say it's not OK. Well, in practice, it is very OK. I was able to get headshots of my wife and I was able to fill the frame without problems. So really loving it for this a lot. And I didn't have problems in portraiture photography and in any kind of photography with this lens. Yes, it's not a macro lens and maybe not a product photography lens. It depends again, but it's sufficient for what this lens is and for my results in my day to day use using this lens, portraits, documentary photography, street photography, fine art, abstract photography. I didn't felt any problems regarding minimum to focus distance. So I wasn't bothered by it because it's a tele lens in the end. And now what's more important, how this lens compares to a Sigma lens and to a Sony 85 millimeter lens. I've shot Sony 85 millimeters f1.8 lens that it's a great lens for what it is very sharp, but with lots of IQ problems. And with that digital sharpness, I'm not a fan of that lens. I'm totally not a fan of that lens. Even if it's a light lens, it's a big chunky lens. So Sony 85 millimeters f1.8, it's not for me. This is why I've bought Sigma, that it's a 90 millimeters f2.8. So I was okay sacrificing a full stop of light to get a lens that it's a little longer, but it's an f2.8 lens. So I feel that the TT Artisan, from my point of view, it is better than the Sony lens for my needs. Why? Again, it renders beautiful. I wasn't able to see the chromatic aberration that it's very easily visible on Sony 85 meters f1.8. And also looking at different charts, this lens, it is as sharp at least as Sony 85 meters f1.8 regarding charts, but regarding rendering much, much better as Sigma, I would say. Now compared to Sigma regarding the price and the field of view, I think they are completing each other very well. So in my kit, I would not have a problem to use a Sigma lens with a TT Artisan lens and also thinking about the price. So having this lens, I'm not tempted anymore to buy a Sigma 65 meter field of view lens because this renders almost as a Sigma and the field of view, it is more usable. So in conclusion, looking at the prices of the Sony lens and of the Sigma lenses and of other alternatives alternatives like Samyang 75 meters f1.8 being a fully metal build lens with aperture ring with aperture ring. I think it's a no brainer to choose this lens because the price of this lens is under $200 brand brand new and also adding the design the lens on my Sony a7C it's making for my Sony A7C a camera with Mojo, a camera that I want to pick and to shoot it up. So this is where this lens is coming in. It's a classical lens with a low cost, with pro results, very sharp, very good AF, with amazing working distance and an amazing field of view. And adding on this, an amazing aperture, not f2.8, but f2, f2. So I can use it in any light. So a no brainer lens that, uh, I truly recommend get it for your full frame system. You'll not regret it at all. You'll really love it. It's a great portraiture, do it all lens, and it's more practical on the streets as a one lens and one camera setup. So if I'm going just with a 90 millimeter lens or with a 85 millimeter lens on the streets to make street photography, I'm feeling constrained about that field of view. That field of view, it's making me do just portraiture photography or saw lighter street photography. But also with this, because it's a little bit wider, you can do documentary and contextual photography. This is very important. With this lens, you can also do documentary and contextual street photography. And I'm showing pictures with these types of photography. So very important, very practical field of view with a very practical aperture. So I'm totally recommending this lens. Please use my affiliate links in the comments and description to get this lens. And if you are in content like this, please subscribe now, now to my channel, subscribe to my newsletter for more photography tips and tricks. Also leave me your comments and check my next videos. Thank you. And I will talk to you soon. Bye bye.